This is a patient with a history of a primary malignancy, and we were asked to restage the disease. And so we did an abdomen pelvis uh, without intravenous contrast, gave a little bit of oral contrast, and there's certainly disease in the abdomen pelvis, and I'm not going to really focus on that. The reason I wanted to share this case is if you look at just the long bases on these first few slices, it's subtle, but you definitely notice that there's an asymmetry within the musculature of the chest wall. If you look at the muscles over here, um, a little atrophic, but certainly at least present and reasonably well-formed over here, lots of fatty atrophy. Look at that humerus. There's hardly any muscle around it versus the humerus over here, which at least has some muscles. And we can see that all the way through, even at the chest wall over there. And so this sort of caught our eye, and we wanted to explore this a little bit more. And looking back on prior studies, the patient has had this for a long time. We have a PET CT that I think shows this really nicely. If you look at the scapula over here, and there's no muscles surrounding the scapula. Uh, if we look even more inferiorly, no muscles around the chest wall are very atrophic, a lot of fatty atrophy. Pec muscle on the right side is also uh, atrophic. Uh, we don't see it. If you look at the humerus, there's hardly any muscles around it. You also notice that the size of the humerus is a little bit less. And on both these studies, on this PET study and on this CT scan, uh, the left hand was sort of lying downwards. The patient could not lift that left hand over their head. And so a uh, number of reasons that this could uh, be from, perhaps the patient had a stroke that afflicted that side of the body. Maybe there are some other reasons. Look in the electronic medical record. This patient actually had polio many, many years ago. And as a result, that left some residual weakness in the right upper extremity. And so they weren't really able to use the right upper extremity over time, the muscles in that location surrounding that right extremity atrophied. The bones became a little bit more smaller in their appearance. And so that's one of the clues that we can see on imaging, certainly of uh, the chest, abdomen, pelvis in patients who've had polio with uh, some muscle weakness associated with that disease.